Hey guys, Akil Stokes here. Welcome back to another episode of the Trading Coach Podcast. In today's episode, I want to share a few one of our accountability sessions with a trader who is coming on for the second time. Now, the first time this trader came on, he realized that he has made some mistakes and uh, basically the process in which he was going through learning how to trade. And I think it's very interesting to see how he picked up on these mistakes and what he's doing to set himself on the right track. So it's going to be an awesome listen. By the way, if you guys are new to the podcast, please do me a favor. Make sure you rate and review on iTunes. And of course, if you're interested in learning, check out www.tier1trading.com. We have free workshops, free webinars, and of course, a 14-day trial where you can get on the platform and involve yourself with our amazing community of traders. All right, do enjoy. So just kind of for anyone who's listening, just kind of little, give us a brief kind of background on where you was up to last time you came on and kind of what the plans were. Okay, so um, last time I was here, um, I was just starting off with the, with the platform. I think I was uh, one month in with the, with the platform. So I was uh, doing uh, the training, the training on, uh, on the training courses. So the last time I... I wanted to backtest the uh, Aussie uh, the um, cipher pattern on Aussie Canada, okay. Uh, and during that period, um, the backtesting period, I think I got a little bit too excited, and I should have finished the training courses, then started backtesting. Right. It was, yeah, exactly. So I, I just figured that out uh, because when I started to uh, backtest the Aussie Canada, um, I wanted to only test the cipher pattern. Then I started to notice the uh, Gartley pattern. So I thought, okay, why not do both, both at the same time? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, that worked out. Okay. Then I, fi I finished it. I didn't struggle with it that much. And then uh, I also added the bad pattern to it. So I was testing all three, all three uh, patterns at the same time. Simultaneously. Wow. Yeah. Sim simultaneously. I know you and Akil, uh, you, you usually say, well, one strategy at a time and things like that but uh for me i didn't struggle with it i was even thinking okay what, am i supposed to be testing all, all three pounds at the same time i'm not really struggling with it so, <laughs> so <it's laughs> like that. <laughs> all right so um but the problem was um with the with the excel sheet from the uh, from the, the back testing sheet that you provided from uh tier one i didn't really know how to use it the first time then um uh, I started to make my own, my own uh, uh, Excel sheet, and uh, add some some stuff. And then after I was done with uh, testing the patterns, I started to test the uh, 2618, 2618 on uh, the euro dollar. Okay, just wrapped that up this uh, this week. Um, yeah, this mo last month. Okay, I wrapped that up, and. Um, so yeah, and I came back after I finished the, after I finished the courses. I started to I understood the uh, Excel sheet that you know, that you provided. I learned, so I'm, now I'm using it. And uh, so yeah, it was a little bit messy. It was you know like the back testing period was not really there was no real direction. Okay, I was just yeah. back testing. You know, I got too excited. I was just you know back testing for the fun of it. Okay, so when I realized that, I just thought, okay, just slow down. Let's you know regroup. Let's let's have a plan, okay? Because you're just back testing different uh, different strategies and you know without real any real direction. So I wanted to just map it out. So so I did that, and now um, uh, my plan for August till the end of the year is to is to back test um, trend continuation, okay? First. Yep. And. Uh, and then after I'm done with that, I'll, I'm going to test three pairs. Okay. Aussie Canada, Euro dollar and uh, New Zealand yen. Okay. So after I'm done with that and I'm only going to, I'm go, only going to go through trend continuation. I'm not going to test any other, any other strategy. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to 2618, same, same three pairs. And when I'm done with the, and when I'm done with that, I'm going to 
I'm going to move on to the advanced backwards. Right. Okay. And are you going to do them all simultaneously still, or are you going to do them one at a time? Uh, one at a time. So one I'm at going a time. to do, yeah. So each each uh, each currency pair. So I'm just going to start each currency pair one at a time, and each strategy also one at, one at a time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how did you find doing the simultaneous ones? You know, I know you said you didn't struggle. Was there anything that you missed? Maybe were you happy with the results? Well, it just you know the results were actually a little bit too good. So I just thought you know I was it was like ninety percent return and something like that on five years. So I'm like. Something is not right. I'm just, you know, I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's something was not right. So I just mm. thought, okay, um, I know. Okay, I'm more familiar with the with the with the strategy, the entry, the entry technique, and all and all of that. I'm familiar with that. So that's the, the positive that I'll take from it. I'll take from the uh, from that back testing period. Okay. So and I also wasn't really uh, that knowledgeable about the uh, money management. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because I already, because I I was trying a different strategy where it was more of a percentage, okay, like one percent of one percent of my account, and the lot size would be like um, a dollar value, so like um, five five dollars per per pip, like like that. So now I'm now that I'm back using the uh, the spreadsheet from from tier one, um, now I'm starting to do. Uh, the uh, f fixed lot and the management money management uh, yeah so money management style so yeah I definitely see that as uh, you know when I'm adjusting um, micro lots and mini lots and things like that and uh, all of that so now that is clear so I think I'll be sticking with that other than the, the other strategy that I was using right and what's the kind of uh, you're not trading live at the moment are you no 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 no, no. I'm not trading live and and do you still plan when, when do you plan on trading live or going live? Um, I initially initially my my deadline is um, by the end of the year. So if I can okay. get if I can get all the back all the back testing done by the end of the year, then I'll go then I'll go live. Um, so yeah, so yeah, no no live trading till uh, till I get all of uh, everything I planned out done. And if it's going to take more time, then it's going to take more time. Excellent. But, uh, but at least, at least, like you know, if not by the end of the year, like maximum mid next year. Mid next year, I should, I should be going. Uh, I should be going live. Okay, so uh, I'm going to throw it out to the group a bit because this is your obviously the second second time you've been on now. Um, yes. Naomi just said, "What do you? So, what do you want to go live with? Six strategies on three pairs. Is that the plan? Uh, six strategies on three." On um, three pairs, yes. Yeah, correct. Okay, and has anyone else got any questions for uh, for Ahmed? You know, let's let's really get the guy accountable. <laughs> let's let's yeah. let's kind of throw the throw the questions because sometimes if we throw the group questions, it can really make you think about stuff that you never necessarily thought about before, and it can it can iron out some gray areas. So, if anyone's got any questions for Ahmed, uh, now's would be a great time. Um, so there's some people typing in at the moment. Um, okay. Whilst they're typing, Ahmed, is there anything you've actually struggled with at all since we last spoke? Uh, something I struggled with was um, just work. Okay, getting in the way of uh, getting in the way of my uh, my uh, my education and the backtesting and all of that because you know sometimes you know I just have a tough tough time at work and just it would ruin uh ruin the the rhythm the, uh, the rhythm yeah the sure that, so yeah that was that was the only struggle but every single time every single like uh i was using the uh countability spreadsheet okay so ever, ever since i ever since i signed up so every single time i see like a week full of red red x's and you know it didn't really you know i'd be like okay next week I have to, I have to, you know, switch the, switch it up, and you know, but and uh, do it better. And every single time that 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 was what I did. So when I had a, an off week, next week would be uh, would be much better. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what time see. frames are you testing on? Says Gilbert. Uh, what time frame? I was testing on the one hour, uh, first time. Yeah, I, I tested the one one uh, one hour time frame because. It would give me more opportunities. Then, then I started to think, okay, wait a minute. I have a, I have a full time job. I'm not going to be checking. It. It's not going to be realistic to check, check the, 
the uh, charts every single uh, every single hour. That's just not realistic. Okay, so I took off the you know I took that off. Now I'm going to be testing four hours. Yeah, sure. Okay, and uh, and Naomi said, how how do you know that you want those uh, pairs? Uh, you know, what will you do if you find out that one of them isn't profitable? If one of them isn't profitable, I'll just you know move on, move on to another another pair. And the reason I chose these these pairs was um, uh, I didn't want too much correlation between between the pairs, so I didn't want too much like because realistically I can I can only handle three three pairs. You know I'm gonna start off so maximum three pairs three pairs that I can manage at, uh, at the beginning of uh, my trading career. So. Um, I didn't want, you know, I just wanted the variety, you know, because I don't want too much correlation. That's, yeah. uh, that's why I chose these, uh, these three. Cool. Okay. And uh, Raf says, when did you start learning? When did I start learning? Back in um, March. Back in, back in March. Back in March when I, started, when I signed up for a tier one. So it's been like um, three, four months. Three, four months. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, I've just been making notes here. If you've heard me typing, I'm not like typing something. I'm actually making notes on this accountability session. Uh, oh, what, okay. we're, what we're going to start doing in this accountability session is to kind of bullet point what was spoken about in the session, and we'll put it in the text underneath each video so people can kind of scan mm -hmm. through, and if something's interesting, they'll watch the, watch the video. Um, okay. So great stuff. All right, mate. So uh, by the end of the year, you should be in a good place to start doing that uh, back testing tune up. You should have your portfolio done and ready yes. to go live for early next year, maybe. Um, yeah, hopefully. Great stuff, mate. Well, uh, listen, thanks for coming on and updating us. I everyone now knows they're up to speed of where you're at. So, okay. I uh, yeah. keep us informed on your on your progress. All right. And um, um, now you cool. said you were asking well one more question, but what if one strategy works on one set of pairs, but another on another set of pairs, then all of all of a sudden you have nine pairs? Um, how to be a, okay? What if one strategy works on one set of pairs and another on another set of pairs, then all of a sudden you have nine pairs? That I'll have to figure it out when when it when cross it the bridge when you come to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's it. but but I will be honest. I will be honest. You know. Uh, six strategies on t on three pairs. I know that's a that sounds a little bit unrealistic. Okay, I know that sounds you know like because more realistically, it would be better if you just start off with one with one strategy. Okay, but um, that's that's just me. I just like to you know hit the ground running. That's that's always been uh, been one of like. So when I hit the wall, then I come to the realization. Okay, um, so yeah, maybe maybe by the end of the year, I I realize okay six strategies that was not a good idea so i'm gonna maybe have to cut off cut off for cut off the strategy then back test it for you know later on yeah sure okay yeah. all right mate well uh listen thanks for coming on keep us up to date on uh on your journey and um we'll see you inside the chat have a great weekend thank you very much jason thank you very much for having me. take care mate bye